is Bob Considine reporting from Vietnam, reporting on a war, perhaps the most difficult, ever fought by Americans. It takes a bewildering amount and variety of equipment and supplies to fight this kind of a war. Now, a vital portion of that uh, material must be airlifted, sped across the endless Pacific at speeds just under the speed of sound. And once here, dispersed by air throughout this land, which is 9,000 miles from home. To tell the story properly, however, we've got to see more than what we're seeing right now. We've got to go back to the United States to see where it all began and to talk to some of the men there and over on this side who make the whole thing tick. Hi, I'm down here on the flight line at Travis Air Force Base with Captain Duane Bennett. Captain, you're the aircraft commander of this period, are you not? Yes, sir. First time you must be mystified by some of the stuff you find in your cargo hold here. Uh, right, as sir. I did have a flight into uh, Benoit, which is just north of uh, Saigon. Yeah. And uh, we had 40,000 pounds of uh, safety wire that, you know, we thought could have been shipped by uh, surface transport. So. And uh, as it turned out, the first air cab of it was, was completely out of safety wire and it was a wrecked project. And so you know, we got air wire right? This massive battle of logistics is a facet of the Vietnam War that has not been told. This is the vital merchandise of war, the stuff that cannot wait because it's needed right now. A request from the field is delivered in as little as five days. Some 70,000 pounds of vital material is off to the troops in Vietnam. We're at the nerve center, the heart, or the command post of the Military Airlift Command. And here is the commander himself, General Hal M. Estes, Jr. The mission of our command is to procure uh, whatever commercial aviation is required on contract to support our military airlift force. Uh, I'd, I'd like to tell you, Bob, that it's been an extremely heartening thing to me to see the wonderful response we've received from all of the airlines. It's been a rough road for them. Hi, Captain. I'm Bob Considine. Oh, I'm, I'm John Jones, American Airlines. Nice to see you. You fellows have been helping out the uh, Air Force in general for a long time, haven't you? And this, is, this has become a pretty familiar ocean to you, particularly. Yes, yes, Bob. During the Korean lift, uh, it took approximately 68 hours from this very airport, from Travis Field to uh, Tokyo. Today, we carry 73,000 pounds from here to Da Nang and back in 32 hours. That's amazing. And you fly every day, don't you? Every day, every day, seven days a week. Actually, this aircraft is equivalent to 15 DC-4. The partners in airlift of Vietnam, America's commercial airlines, supplement the splendid job being done by the Military Airlift Command. At Travis Air Force Base in California, planes come in, are loaded, and out, because speed may mean lives. Saigon, consummate airfield. Get them in, get them unloaded, and get them out. The 707 will spend as little as an hour here, then begins the long, long trip back home for more cargo. The markings of America's major airlines stir memories of home. And every day, their jobs completed, men do go home. As much as two million pounds of valuable urgent cargo wings into Vietnam every day. A Mack plane lands at Cam Ranh Bay and is unloaded by military personnel. But the big airports in Vietnam are not the end of the line. Out of one plane and into another, into aircraft capable of getting up to the front, where men know the things they need will be coming in. No one knows more about the impact of the airlift than the commander, United States Military Assistance Command, Vietnam, General William C. Westmoreland. The Military Airlift Command, known as MAC, is vital to the success of our efforts in South Vietnam. MAC provides the vital and highly important air evacuation service for our wounded men. They contribute immeasurably to the high quality of our medical care for these wounded troops. This is Sergeant Jimmy Morris from Brooklyn, of all places. Sergeant, what has the airlift brought you that uh, has helped you in your job? 
Well, it, is, it has brought, brought me many supplies and uh, a lot of supplies that I need, especially me being the weapons man out here on the A site, and my weapon parts are real important. When I get my parts in, I can uh, keep all of my weapons functioning properly. What would you like it to bring you? I would also like for it to bring me my wife. We'll see what we can do about that, Jim. Thank you. These, then, are some of the component parts of the airlift, supporting heroic men in a most complex type of war. This is Bob Considine reporting from Vietnam. <laughs>